Okay, using a micrometer and a vernier scale uh, to measure distances. So here's a picture of a micrometer and vernier scale. We're going to talk about micrometer first of all. Uh, we can see here there's a variety of different designs of them. They all have that barrel in common though. And they're all used to measure anything that is less or than one centimeter or around about one centimeter. So we don't want to measure anything bigger than that with a micrometer. We will always use a micrometer over a vernier caliper because a micrometer has a higher precision of around about well, it's a hundredth of a millimeter, so one times ten to the minus five meters. Remember, percentage uncertainty is precision divided by the length you're you're measuring, and we always want to keep percentage uncertainty as low as possible. Right? How do we read that scale? Well, the scale, the barrel is split into two halves: the left hand side and the right hand side. The left hand side gives us our first part of the number, and we read as much of the number as we can off it. So this number here is two. Uh, it's the biggest number, which is two millimeters, but it's bigger than two millimeters. It's actually 2.5 uh, is the biggest number I can see. I don't know if you can see the mouse or not, but 2.5 uh, is this line here. It's the largest line we can see. The right hand side gives us the point, whatever it is, uh, to add on to it. Well, the small lines here on the right hand side barrel uh, go up in intervals of 0 0.01. So what this tells us is this is the nearest line is 0 0.06. So the total value here being shown is 2.5 from the left hand side added on to 0 0.06 from the right gives us a total measurement of 2.56 millimeters. Let's just try a couple more to make sure we're okay with these. So this one here is not very easy to see, but hopefully you can see that's a 5. Uh, it's 5.5 on the left hand side added on to 0 0.28 on the right hand side gives us a grand total of 5.78 millimeters. And one few more, uh, we've got here at the top, so top left, first of all, we've got uh, a value of 1.25 added on to 14, oh, so 0 0.14. Uh, from the right-hand side, gives us a grand total of 1.39 millimeters. Top right, we've got a, it's quite hard to read this one, but we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 and a half, uh, millimeters from the left hand side added on to 0 0.31 I think on the right hand side gives us a total of there we go 13.81 millimeters bottom left large scale of 2.5 added on to 0 0.06 looks to be the same one we did earlier actually uh, gives us a total of 2.56 millimeters right vernier caliper now vernier caliper has a number of different bits to it. The first one, very obvious one, it's for use measuring length, the jaws. However, there's a bit on the back uh, and that's for measuring distance between, the gap in between something, a large gap. And we also have at the right hand side, we have something that's used for measuring holes, the depth. They all use the same scale. Uh, they all, um, you know, they all, they're all calibrated to each other, attached to each other, in fact, uh, via the same piece of metal inside. Uh, we can use them to measure any of those things. But the scale that's really important. How do we use that? Well, again, we have a left hand side and the right hand side. Um, it's interesting here, actually, before I move on, that the precision of these um, digital vernier is similar to a micrometer, uh, so we, we may use a digital vernier. Analog is not as precise, so we tend not to use them. It's 0 0.1 mil millimeters, that's all, uh, that one. The scale here, anyway, we're looking for, uh, on the left-hand side, the first the number that corresponds most closely to the zero line on the right-hand scale. On The, the right-hand side is actually known as the vernier. So this will be uh, 75 point of 756 sorry from the left hand side and the right hand side we're then looking for when it lines up so when the first of these lines line up with the one on the left well none of the lines on the right at the moment lining up until oh there we go these two line up pretty well which means this value here would be 0 0.6 on the right hand side so 756 from the left plus the 0 0.6 from the right gives us 756.6 millimeters and let's just have a quick look at this one here well, we look to the zero, and the zero tells us is uh, is is just after the uh, w um, was that fourteen. So we get fourteen from the left hand side, and then we're looking for where it lines up. These lines line up; they're not lining up yet, not lining up yet, not lining up yet. Uh, so where they line up, six is almost lined up. It looks like, but not quite. Uh, it looks like there we go. So we've got conveniently there's a red line here already for us, but six point. Be careful with the scale here because each of these is. 0.2, so what we end up with is uh, 
the third one, which is uh, 0.66. So this is quite a precise, higher precision um, vernier caliper than normal. So it's 14 plus 0.66 gives 14.66 millimeters. Hope that helps. It's quite a slightly longer video than I hoped for, but uh, best of luck tomorrow.